This disclaimer was copied without permission. Cheers, Quaffers, Cousins, Wiggles, Wiggles, and all other good people out there. Hopswatch is back again. At last, not so much going on on the channel uh, right now. I'm waiting for a new webcam, which hopefully will raise the quality of my videos somewhat. Um, I'm not at all satisfied with the quality, so I've tried to obtain some new equipment to, uh, to raise the quality. Then, I, of course, I found out once I had got myself a new webcam that it recorded in the wrong format. It was recording in 4.3. You know, the format of uh, old CRT TVs that they used back in the 70s and 80s. That format, who the hell is still using that format to record in? I don't know anyone who does. Why are they producing webcams for, for that, that only have that format? It's, yeah, I, I don't understand that. And I've returned it. I'm now uh, waiting to get my money back so I can buy a new one because I'm, cheap like that anyways i thought uh bad quality or not it's time i review another video and there are a couple of reasons for that it's long time since last time and um you know some of these beers don't get better with age i've got this one It's an IPA. IPA ought to be uh, enjoyed fresh. This is already some months old and now I don't want to stretch it any longer. Now I want to, to uh, crack it open and um, have a taste at it. It's another beer from uh, Beard Brew. We tried the lager the last time. It was as expected, a very fine beer. This one I have actually already tried and I know it's absolutely brilliant. It's an Asian IPA. It's called an Asian IPA because it got some spices which are typical for Asian food. Just a sec. Since the last video, I have actually acquired a couple of reading glasses so that embarrassing instances from earlier videos. The liquid Garoshna will, no, will not repeat themselves. So it says on the label, take a trip to the Far East with our Asian IPA, with its exotic and smooth flavors. It's just a distinguished as it's speared, gentleman-like, but sharp, and here to make an impression. Enjoy. Yeah, they have uh, different beards, beards for each beer. It's one of the things. Anyway, I uh, I didn't didn't get to uh, to tell what ingredients ingredients were in. So, uh, water, oats, malt, hops, and yeast. Hops are Northern Brewer, Mandarina Bavaria, Motueka, Citra and Lemon Drop. Also is added Galanga Root, Lemongrass and Coriander Seeds together with Organic Lime Juice. So that would be the ingredients that are typically used in Asian foods. Let's crack it open and have a whiff, shall we? I'm not going to use the noisy chain anymore. Accidentally, I used that in my old video. That wasn't so wrong. Uh, oh, this is instant joy. It makes a very nice clucking sound when you pour it. So, ah, uh, this looks uh, this looks filtered. Um, usually. I actually prefer my IPAs unfiltered. But hell, if, if filtering means that you can control the process better and get a more um, stable product, it's, it's okay with me. That's ultimately the choice of the brewer. What, who the hell am I to, uh, to tell a brewer what to do? So, 
Oh, this is beautiful. So, sweet notes, notes of white bread, fresh white bread, vanilla, almost like vanilla ice cream. And a deep refreshing spicy taste. So fresh hops, which is expected. Sweetness of wine gums. Pleasant raw touch to the palate, but it's not a rough IPA. You can have IPAs that are very rough to the palate uh, with some very stingy, harsh hops notes. This is more pleasant to it. Still, it's a very, very nice and, and very rich flavor experience. But it's also very pleasant and it's a very pleasant beer to drink with lots and lots of taste. This is definitely a beer for sipping. This is one that you want to uh, enjoy for 15 minutes, uh, maybe even half an hour. However, I, I suspect that uh, it gaining temperature will not make it any better. IPA should be enjoyed chilled. I tried this actually at the local beer festival. As I said, I had already tried it. And I did that at the local beer festival here in Tista, where I live. I also got the opportunity there to greet uh, one of the grand old men still alive uh, of Danish brewing, uh, Peter Clemensen. He's the former brewmaster of Tista Bryghus, our local brewery. It was really a huge honor to, uh, to meet and greet him. And also, it turned out that my favorite brewery, Amar Bryghus, had brewed a beer to his honor. And I had a taste of that together with him. That was absolutely awesome. One of the greatest beer related experiences I definitely had this year and I probably have had ever. This was like uh, the time when I met Aaron Ra in person. This time only regarding beer. Back when I met Aaron Ra, we, we both had a Carlsberg Pilsner because that was what was available. Um, now, the standards of beverages at the Atheist Society of Denmark is it's not top-notch. I'll see if I can change that. I mean, after all, I am now a board member. So, um, I'll grade this beer. Um, for its nice um, hoppy flavours and its richness, I'll give it Five stars. So actually I'm rating it a bit lower than the lager, which also tells how impressive you can actually make lagers if you want to do something properly. This is not the last beer I've got from Beer Brew. I've got another one, but that'll wait a bit because uh, that's an Imperial Stout that will be better if I leave that for, for some time. Okay, so this was the peer review for this time. I hope you enjoyed it and if you like what I do, uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. Also follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook and follow my blog. Uh, the latter two are in Danish, so it would be an advantage to master that language if you want to have optimum use of it. Also you can write to me on this email address if you've got beers for me to review or if you want to to send me something to put up on the huge empty wall next to where I do my beer reviews, other beer related stuff, anything, t-shirts to wear, I'll do that if it's a case that I can support. I am currently working on another video about Torben Sondergaard and I am also working on my first comments video. So um, I hope that will turn out fine, uh, but, it, but it's all something I want to save uh, until I've got some better recording equipment because this grainy quality uh, where you can see through my hands and, and whatnot uh, is simply not viable anymore. I want to up the quality of my material a notch or two. So that will be all for this time. Always remember to drink responsibly and until next time, cheers.
do. So, oh, this is beautiful. I'm just gonna catch a photo for my blog. Wait, uh, let's use this. This is where I want to use the 4.3 format. Because the 16.9 format looks stupid and on pictures. Nope, wrong one. 